This is amazing. It's an incredible view. And to think that pioneering aviators would make high altitude flights in balloons not dissimilar to this one. They rapidly discovered that the atmosphere changes dramatically as you go up. The air gets a lot colder, but it also gets a lot thinner. It gets much harder to breathe. And that's because as the pressure goes down, the oxygen molecules are more spread out, and you just can't breathe deeply or fast enough to compensate for that. By the end of the 1920s, daring aeronauts had reached heights of 40,000 feet. They took an oxygen supply with them, but they had other physiological problems to deal with. So what happens to your body as you go up to 12,000 meters and approach the vacuum of space? Well, I don't really want to try that myself, so I've got a little marshmallow man who's going to demonstrate it for me. Today's flight is only hovering around 2,000 feet, so a vacuum jar and pump will simulate high altitudes, unforgiving conditions. You can see now that as we're sucking the air out of the vacuum jar, the marshmallows are starting to expand, and that's because they contain little pockets of air. And as the pressure on the outside of the marshmallows fall, those little pockets of air start to expand. Now, if that was me going up to ever higher altitude closer to that vacuum, then the pockets of gas inside my body would start to expand. And as we got to really low pressure, fluids on my exterior would start to boil. Poor guy. What I'm going to do is turn off the pump and then let the air back in. And you can see that as the pressure increases again back in that jar, it squishes him back down to his normal size. Though, I don't think he's ever going to be his former self again.